Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to the real part 5 to my RPG, beginner RPG tutorial series. Today's video is going to be a short one, but it's going to add um, some nice, a nice feel to our game that's going to make it uh, feel more like a real game and less like a little, I don't know, maybe like a not so good game. It's going to make it feel better. So, uh... It's not super long, but it's going to be useful to you guys. Um, I'm going to add my website into this video if you'd like to check out my book or Game Maker course. But let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do very first is we're going to create... Uh, the goal of this course is to create a view object that follows the player uh, that's a little bit smoother. Because right now, if you run the game, you'll see that our player objects, our player object gets followed just immediately. The view follows the player and uh, the view object doesn't feel very fluid. So we're going to create a new object. Come up here and click the create new object. We're going to name this object view and it doesn't need to have a sprite. Okay. Then we're going to add an event and we're going to add a step event. And we're going to drag over uh, a line of code here from the control tab. Drag, drag over a line of code. And I'm going to put a comment here that says move 10% towards the player. So every single step this view object is going to move towards the player object 10%. Now there's a special formula to do this and what you want to do is you want to do our, our current position, so our x position, plus equals, so we're adding to it, relative to it, our target location, target, and I'm just putting in, this is an actual code right now, our target minus our current location, current, times 0.1, which is the 10%. 0.1 represents 10%. Okay, it's one tenth. So this is the formula that we're going to be using. I guess this could be uh, current right here as well. Current. Okay, current plus equals target minus current. So now our current position is actually just our x position in the room, right? And our y position or our x position, right there. But what's our target position? Well, the target position is the player's location. Now, how do we get the player's location in the room? Well, the easy way to do this is we can do object underscore player, right? And you can see it highlights because that's the name of our player, dot x. So what that does, it says get the x position of the player object okay so that dot right there is uh, kind of an accessor it's accessing the x position of this player object okay now we're gonna do the same thing with the y y plus equals object player dot y minus y times point one okay there we go. This is going to, every step, it's going to move the camera 10% of the distance closer to the player. Now we can press our green check mark and we need to put this camera in the room. So we're going to come in here. I'm going to put the camera object view. We're going to put this object in the room. Now we want to go into our view tab inside of this room uh, because the view is currently following the player. Well, we want to make it follow the view object. So we're going to do follow the view object. Okay. We can save the game and then run it. And now you'll see we get a nice fan. First of all, it's kind of a fancy little um, thing where it moves over to the player. And then you can see our view will move a little bit sometimes. But we're going to have an issue which is where if our players over here clear over here in the corner and then we run back this way well you can't really notice it that much actually probably because the player moves so slow right now it's not a super big deal it 
doesn't look too bad actually so I might not worry about fixing that right now because it looks good so there you go now we've got a fancier camera and uh, this is kind of a little preparation work for the next video because I don't want the next video is already going to be long and I don't want it to be extremely long so I'm kind of cutting this one out of the next video. It's just a small section. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for part six, which will come out tomorrow. And I will uh, be sure and like and share this video. Go back to the first one and go share that one with your friends. Um, anybody new that wants to learn how to make games, go share the first video with them. That helps me out a ton. So thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys later.